Never had it in my mind that I was going to be a pastor of a church. Uh, my goal and career uh, desire was to be a firefighter, and that's what I poured uh, every part of my life into for about three and a half years until the day came when I finally realized it wasn't going to happen. We were wondering, what are we going to do now? We're living in this crazy, expensive city. Where, we, where do we go? I got a call from my closest friend and pastor at the time, and they said the Fellowship and Northwest Baptist Seminary are doing this new initiative called the Immerse Program. Once I began the program, uh, I transitioned really into more of a pastoral intern role, and I got a little sidecar desk right beside the senior pastor and just watched him be a pastor every day. He really just invested day by day in my growth. As Wesley started with the program, he really uh, grew within the program and the church was really blessed by him, blessed by the gift that God had given him for preaching. He was learning together with the church, but he was able to bless the church at the same time. It was literally uh, in my coming into my fourth year of the program. I remember that night very clearly where my wife and I were out for dinner with our lead pastor and his wife and sat across the table and told me, we feel like God's called us to another church. It was, a, it was a shock when we heard a number of years ago that our senior pastor of 13 years at the church uh, was planning to leave. Church is a messy place and transitions are really hard. People express their own fears, their own anger, their own upsetness when a, a leader who has been known and loved by a church is now leaving. During that transition time, um, Wesley was amazing in dealing with uh, the uncertainty that came out of that time. He showed great strength and great courage. The transition was miles easier, uh, having learned what it is to preach a sermon, what it is to do a sermon series. It allowed me to just almost seamlessly transition into the role. I think when Wes became our lead pastor here, it was just visible and so clear to us that there was a quiet confidence about him, probably from gaining that experience through working at the church as an intern. When he preached, he was very relatable. He had already built some relationships with the church and he just knew how to connect the gospel to real life. I so appreciate Pastor Wesley's preaching because it helps me grow. He's no longer a student, but he's the full-time senior pastor for the church. Last summer, I started my work experience here as an immersed student um, with Wes as one of my mentors. It's an incredible opportunity to now be able to give back uh, to someone else who now is, was at a stage very similar to me. It's been already incredible just to see the way that God is using this relationship to build into her. He's really coming alongside me and, and using his experience to inform my learning. Imas has opened the door for Mayan to disciple youth and university students. It's been amazing to see God working through the lives of Wesley and Mayan, and we are so really looking forward to how that growth will continue throughout the church's life going forward.